New into stock for the uh, second time. We sold it uh, about 12 months ago and just taking it back in. We have a Chevrolet Captiva 2 litre VCDI LS 5 door. It's um, 2010 on a 10 plate. Fairly low mileage, I would say, at 49,700. Fuel economy, urban 32.1, extra urban 45.6, combined is 39.2, naught to 60 in 10.8 seconds, top speed of 114 miles per hour, out of 148 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Rotex isn't too bad, six months 154 pounds, 12 months 280. This car's MOT'd until the 14th of the 2nd, 2020. It's got a full service history, which I'll, I'll tell you about uh, when we get in the car. Very, very handy vehicle. Plenty of room inside, uh, loads of luggage space. Got the five spoke alloy wheels, a tinted shade band on the windscreen, roof bars, chrome strips around the windows, wheel arch protectors, and also uh, the plastic molding, which protects the bottom of the doors from uh, gravel chips. On the remote here, if you just click that button, it flips this part of the tailgate up, the uh, window, just to load your shopping in, or using the catch. Got a rear wash wipe there. Plenty of, uh, plenty of room in the back, and uh, a rear load cover there. Tow bar. Plenty of room in the back. We've got a rear centre armrest. Seats are nice and high. It's kind of a, a grey cloth with uh, pattern centres. Got uh, parcel nets here. Full carpet mat across the back there so the, the carpets will be light new underneath. And this kind of um, brushed aluminium effect finish to the door handles and the uh, child locks we'll try that again I'll just take you for a ride in it. Proper remote uh, key with a blade. There we go. So we've got height adjusters, height adjustable steering wheel there. Don't think that's ever been moved. Got here, power folding door mirrors. Let's do that before I set off. And uh, proper handbrake, front central armrest. Plenty of room, plenty of headroom, and uh, nice comfortable car. Bags of room on the back seat and, and plenty of uh, luggage space. Done 49,756 miles. It's got a full service history, which I will. Uh, list in the description only just been serviced as well by ourselves the fancy radio CD here Con. Got a power socket just there at the side of the gear stick. This uh, kind of imitation brushed aluminium. That feels like a brushed aluminium. I'm not sure about that. The, uh, the steering wheel feels massive. It feels like it's a, a big oil tanker.
two cup holders there. Bit of space in the oh, previous owner's left some uh, coppers in there. It's only just come in, so it's not been cleaned yet. And uh, when it went, as I say, we sold it before, when it went out last time, it was a, a nice clean car or well looked after. And I think once we've cleaned it, it it'll be back to that state. Got uh, window switches there all work. And then we've got here Actually, I'll just nip up the inside, seeing as he's turning right. Give him plenty of room, though. Right, so we're just trying the door mirrors. So over to the right there. Yep, that's working. Passenger one working too. Uh, it looks a bit better. Just need to go back a little bit there. How can you be so wrong? And such a poor driver. Gordon Bennett. It was uh, so busy thanking me for letting him come into the other lane. He put his uh, hazard warning lights on, then nobody knew which way he was going. Six, it's only five gears. A lot of diesels are these days. Quite a fast car, I've got to say. Plenty of room, plenty of leg room. There's a place to rest your foot there, the side of the clutch when you're not actually doing anything. I've got uh, big work boots on as well. Weather's not been too good recently around here. Nice comfy seat. Rear seats fold down, so again, if you need the luggage space, there's, there's bags, a rear load cover. The value for money, multi-purpose vehicle, people carrier. some air in the front tyres. Gosh, running away when they're going too fast there. The information display or your, uh, your clocks. Left hand side we've got rev counter in the centre top. 
fuel gauge, centre bottom, or I suppose centre middle really, coolant temperature, then at the bottom there's your uh, mileometer, odometer, whatever you want to call it. Just check the uh, wipers. see what they're like after the windscreen's been cleaned but possibly needs a passenger wiper the rear wiper is that's operating correctly Now the water's coming through now, yep, that's working, it's working fine. CD radio, looks like one of these, you needed this green science to work. The global locking switch is there. It's one of those cars that when you see one pull up on a car park, five, six foot four people get out. There's plenty of headroom, just plenty of room all around. And the, uh, the chap that was <laughs> just traded it in is uh, a big lad. Got a proper service book here, and uh, it's all stamped up. Stop Starbucks. wasn't supposed to happen.
nice suspension really going too fast again runs away with you this car it's uh, it's very comfortable but bumpy country road here suspension is nice and soft evening it all out As I've no doubt said before, great value for money. And uh, I'll finish the test drive here. Now I'm stuck behind this van, there's not going to be a whole lot else happens along this road, nowhere to overtake, so 